As their former nominee is ripping the DNC, Democrats in Washington are really trying to rally the faithful against the Trump agenda. Tonight, Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel looks at what the Democrats hope to accomplish in the next few months. Democrats are revealing their summer playbook, trying to tap into anger their base is feeling. Texas Democrat Congressman Mark Vesey explained why he was dressed down, offering up some red meat in Dallas today. We have to take on the President of the United States. We have to take on Paul Ryan. We have to take on Mitch McConnell. It's time for us to take our jackets off. It's time to take our ties off. And it's time to start fighting. House Democratic Leader Nancy Pelosi tried to energize a labor and activist audience. And so the middle class, which is the backbone of our democracy, really depends on our activism in the sum, uh, resistance summer. And Pelosi so issued this call to action right. in order to protect Obamacare. Say, call your member of Congress and tell him or her not to take away our, our health care. Others are taking to social media. We'll fight our hearts out up here. I mean, that's the deal. I will. I'm, I'm fighting before I wake up in the morning, and I'm still fighting when I go to bed at night. There are also efforts to continue harping on the ongoing Russia investigations. Three Democrat senators, Carper of Delaware, Heinrich of New Mexico, and Peters of Michigan, sent this letter to Director of National Intelligence Dan Coats earlier this month. Quote, we write to request a review and damage assessment regarding whether any classified information may have been disclosed by the president or his senior advisors to representatives of the Russian government during a meeting in the Oval Office on May 10, 2017. At an event last night in New York with former late night host David Letterman, Minnesota Democrat Senator Al Franken talked about, quote, some cooperation between the Trump campaign and the Russians, adding, I think everything points to that. Franken was asked about that assessment of interaction between some in the president's inner circle and Russian officials this morning. These meetings weren't disclosed, and this is, there's a whole bunch of these from Trump administration officials or former Trump administration officials. They, they aren't acting like people who have nothing to hide. A year ago, it was the Trump campaign and Republicans attacking Hillary Clinton's handling of classified information and her use of a private email server. Perhaps a sign of lessons learned by Democrats from the 2016 campaign. Brett? Mike, thank you.